Okay, today we're talking Eureka. We have set up for Eureka. We're talking about Eureka and Ben Hogan and how there's similarities between the move that Hogan makes in his swing, or two moves that Hogan makes in his swing, and my Eureka motion. Today we're talking about Ben Hogan and Eureka, how there's a little bit of similarity in there. Hogan wasn't a Eureka player, uh, more along the lines of Trevino if you like, but there's a few similarities in there. There's certainly one similarity in there that's obviously very pure ball striking from Hogan. And you guys now, if you try this. If you've not seen my Eureka stuff, go and check it out on my channel. There's loads of stuff on there, check it all out. This is my Eureka moment. So I've all set myself up, I've got my canes and everything set up. I'll just quickly explain what that is, but really go and check another video out, and then we'll talk about the similarities, or a move that Hogan has that Eureka puts you into. It's two moves. So ball position, red cane in the middle, that is my shoulder alignment, in line with my target. Bottom cane is my feet alignment, so my bottom half is open. So I'm out of the way of the golf ball through impact, and the top line is the path my club is going to travel. So travelling from in to out tracing along this line or just inside this line parallel to the reason we can't go on top of is because we're going to hit that with a club Hogan was a genius imagine striking it like Hogan eh? just imagine that for a second Ben Hogan striking the ball like Hogan eh? <sighs> anyway let's go Eureka bottom half aims left top half square clubs inside swinging into out because the bottom half's whipped out the way already, so these forces going left, chucks the club out to the right. Pure ball strike every time. Bingo. Okay, now Hogan. I feel as though it should be Mr. Hogan. We'll call him Benny. No, we won't, that's disrespectful. Mr. Hogan. Mr. Hogan, when he took his club back. <laughs> Mr. Hogan. When Hogan took his club back, his left arm came back across his chest and his left arm was either in line with his shoulder plane, so in line with his shoulders, or slightly below that plane. Okay? If you watch Ernie Ells, a couple of other guys on tour, they have this left arm above the shoulder plane, so shoulder plane is there, line of shoulders, and they have left arm above, whereas Hogan was on or below. Kind of like Matt Kutcher, he's way below. So Kutcher's in here somewhere, he's round there. And then he turns, hits golf ball. That's Eureka. Hogan was there as well. I've got a couple of images. You'll see Hogan, a couple of lines drawn. His left arm is below the plane of his shoulder here in these shots. It's impressive. So in there, I did a lesson with this last week with somebody doing Eureka move, and we both realised that when we create this left arm below the shoulder plane position, that reduces the length of your backswing. And of course, the less distance you go back, the less trouble you're going to get into. My idea behind that was that, I mean, if you've got a one inch putt or a 30 foot putt, it's much easier to control the putter, taking the putter back by an inch and through an inch than it is on a 30 foot putt. So it's just more controllable. So if we're playing full shots and we've got a shorter swing that's in the correct position, much easier to strike the golf ball. Sorry about the shade thing going on here. Scotland, sunny. So bottom half's left, left arm, Below shoulder plane. Let's try and get that below shoulder plane. It's only as far back as it can go, that's it. And then from there, my body starts to turn left, so the chest, there's a lot of compression in here. There's a lot of compression between left armpit and, or left armpit and pec. And there, feel that compression in there. You should feel that when you try it. You will feel it when you try it. Body has to aim left though, because that's where you've got the two forces working against each other. So I've aimed the bottom half left, then there's, there's less turning of the top half, if you like, so it's more torque against each other. We are still turning the hips out of the way, though. We're still letting the right hip turn back, but you'll feel the pressure in here. You'll feel this hitting this. There. Good, eh? Same 
again, keeping that left arm below my shoulder plane on the way back. Okay, and the cup head really spins out to the right because it's coming from much more inside and a much more tight position. So it's more in here and in there and then it's that motion. There's no disconnection. So it's sequenced much better. The disconnection's gone. It's much tighter, lower. It's great. Now, now real and feel, my phone just buzzed. Dan Wood from the Hustle. Dan. So real and feel are very different, okay? So what you feel as though the club's way behind you doesn't necessarily mean it is. I did a vlog last week where Dan and I had the putter ball and was out in shots and somebody commented saying, you're not using your Eureka move. Well, I am. Or I felt as though I was and the camera angles are slightly different so you couldn't quite see it. But I always use Eureka move. But real and feel are very, very different. So I'm going to make this one feel as though my left arm's way below my shoulder plane. And as you look at it, it might not be, but it's the feeling of that and the restriction and therefore the tightness and the more com combination of the two of the bottom half being out of the way and the top half going the other direction that's what I'm going to feel so that feels the left arm's way below there must have been you guys judge that so that's what Hogan does so Hogan gets the left arm on plane with the left shoulder with the shoulder plane or in line with or slightly below he didn't aim left, Hogan didn't have the feet aiming left, but he certainly was in that position, so he is there. Oh, that was so good. So the other move, this camera's not the right height for me today. So the other move is Hogan's left bum cheeks out the way at impact. So you can see his body's turned out the way at impact. I find that hard to do. So Hogan's square line, feet parallel to target line, low and then from there he turns gets left bum out of the way okay, he's very good at that now Hogan started off in a more upright position excuse me Hogan started in a more upright position so his posture was more I think he described it as it was like he was sitting on one of those spectators umbrella things you know it's like you've got your umbrella and the handle opens up and you can sit on it so he's more in that position that address so he was quite tall in the back round his shoulders and then from there he would lose height so he'd get in there and this loss of height if you like would move the bum cheek out of the way so there was no early extension whatsoever brilliant gg swing tips teaches this standing too upright or more upright and that allows you to squat down through impact this sitting on a bar stool analogy <sighs> sat on a few bar stools like so it's too flexed with the knees and too much spine angle or forward bend and then from there, when we come into impact, we have to make the room so that's when we really extend. I'm a victim of that. When we adopt the Eureka idea, we've already preset your bottom half more left. So now down the line, you can probably see a little bit more left bum cheek. I'm not sure from that camera angle. But you'll be able to see more left bum cheek and it's easier now to get it out of the way. So it's easier to get a little bit more weight towards the heels and maintain those positions to get this left bum cheek out of the way to prevent that early extension. So anyone that comes in, in this position, by getting the body more left, there's more chance of staying that squatted Hogan position at impact through using Eureka. Left arm below shoulder plane. There. Then from there, I stay in this left position with the feet as I come down. And it's much easier now to stay ahead of the golf ball and get this to go that way instead of that way. From there, I could stand a little bit taller like Hogan. draw every time there you go I just I'm standing a little bit taller that for me is awkward okay. lower and then from there I can then lower myself into this position coming out Quality. That is why Hogan, let's move this camera around, where is the sun? There we go. That is, 
some similarities I've seen. This was all came from a lesson that I was doing um, with a chap last week about Eureka and I decided to look a little bit more into this left arm plane because we both decided that the swing can be shorter and more efficient if we can get the left arm below the shoulder plane as long as we've got the feet aiming left to make both forces work together. So keeping the left arm low on the way back, left arm low below shoulder plane, low and then from there we're getting weight going to target and behind. Much easier to do with the weight left because we've already preset the target, the left hip out of the way. So there's not much more motion required to get it away from us into that left bum Jeep Hogan style. That's it. Again, my concentration today is my setup's perfect because I've got my canes. Left arm low, which keeps it short. Feel the compression in here between there and there on the way back. Good. And then from there, my weight's going forward, as we've discussed before, and my left bum gets out of the way because my stance is already open. It makes life much easier. That was good. Don't forget to turn your body on the way back though. Don't just whip the arms in front of the chest, the chest turns as well. That allows the left arm to stay a lot lower. Turn the chest. When you're doing this, don't forget to turn your body on the way back though. Don't just whip the arms in front of the chest. Make sure you turn the body, that's going to help keep the left arm lower than the shoulder plane. So take a dress position, get that body to turn. Well, because if you just move the arms, they're going to go upwards. Let's get the body to turn. Seems really easy today. Body turn. Guys, leave comments below. Thanks very much for subscribing. If you've not subscribed, sort yourself out. Come on, button there, just click. Done, easy.